guys. What is up? It's a beautiful day on Lake Fontana. It's like 90 today. There's tons of boaters out here. Maybe not for most lakes, but for this lake. So it's the quintessential time for boater etiquette training. Yes, perfect day for it. So what we're gonna do today, instead of sitting around and give you all of our opinions, as awesome as they are, <laughs> is I just feel I feel like you're doing something. I just know him well enough. I know he's doing something. Anyways, we are going to um, take a lap around the harbor, maybe stop in at the marina and see what other boaters have to say. Give you a really good holistic viewpoint of what most boaters consider good boater etiquette. So that way you don't just hear it from us, but you hear it from everybody. So let's hop in the dinghy and start at the marina and go from there. All right, you guys, so what would be your number one biggest boating pet peeve or piece of advice you'd give people as far as boating etiquette is concerned? I think uh, my biggest one is when people come into the marina and don't slow down, and especially at night when we're sleeping in our houseboat. Totally. And it just sits there and rocks. Yeah. Wakes us up. But on the lake, for me, I think it's people not staying in their lane, you know, and you're waiting, you're kind of looking which way are they going to go, which way are they going to go. Totally. Like, when if you take a boating class, they actually talk about how you want to make any maneuver you do very obvious. So, like, if you're going to the right of them, obviously yeah. turn to the right. Make it very clear and dramatic instead of, like, bearing right, you know. Yeah. And, I mean, we're spoiled here because... There's, there's not much so traffic, much. yeah. And so it makes it all the more stand out. All yeah, it's the like more. you have all this room. <laughs> Just what are you doing? All right, next up, Mike. What's your number one pet peeve when it comes to boaters? People with no etiquette that like to drive wide open within ten feet of your house. <laughs> so not respecting personal not property. Respecting personal property. You're having common sense. It goes a long way when you're on the water. <laughs> okay, thanks. What do you think some good etiquette tips for loading and unloading your boat on the ramp would be? Be prepared. Uh, don't try to back it down the lake and start doing everything you need to do then. Have it ready to go, back down the ramp, unload your boat, move the trailer so other people can use the ramp. Same way with loading it, be ready uh, to pull it on the, on the trailer and get gone. That way you're not tying up the ramp. Well, I would say one thing that comes to mind and I mean, not a lot of stuff, you know, bothers me out here when you're just chilling and sure. enjoying yourself. But like if you're out there swimming or if you've got kids swimming and um, whenever boaters just go too fast in the harbor, basically, whenever they're just like speed racing through. Yeah, you know? for sure. Yeah, because we've got families out here just chilling. So I would say that that's the biggest thing. Yeah. Just like to slow down whenever you're in the harbor. Yeah. Yeah. Doesn't take much. Yeah. Okay, so I feel like we're definitely seeing some trends here. A big emphasis on like respect personal property and spacing, right? Especially with regards to your boat's wake. I was interested to see how this would go. I'm kind of pleasantly surprised, gotta be honest, because I was worried that a lot of people would give like petty, if I could say that, <laughs> tips, things, you know, that a lot of boaters are nitpicky about, like, oh, don't ride around with your fenders out, you'll look like a noob, or I don't know, things like that that's like, it doesn't actually affect anybody but you. Don't worry about that stuff, y'all. Just respect other people's property and give people space, because after all, we're not out here because we wanted to be in a city, we're out here because we wanted to be in nature and enjoy the sunshine, the water, so let's go here just a couple more and see if there's anything new to add to the conversation. Wait, 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 oh. I know what I'm gonna say. <laughs> all right, action. Uh, wait a minute, wait. <laughs> <laughs> you don't advertise for free, Charlie. You gotta get they paid by the I think the most annoying thing at Fontana Lake is they don't carry Coors Light beer. <laughs> We pack our own sometimes, but sometimes we drink Bud Light when That's forced right. to. When forced to. <laughs> I like it. That's a good pet peeve. That's a great pet peeve. Let's see. Everybody's good other than, like I said, the no wake zone. Yep. No one to abide by that. Other than that, everybody else is good and chill. When they rent a boat, people know a little bit of the rules to help out and common courtesy. Sure. I really, that's the main thing. Really had a complaint 
I ain't complaining. People don't even walk cows and shouldn't throw stones, you know. So glass That's some was, wisdom right there. Glass houses, but oh, oh. 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 <laughs> yeah. Yeah, if your house is full of rocks, it don't matter. Even if that's not sin, don't cast the first stone. Or if you haven't sinned. You're, you're not a philosopher. I think we got, like, we, yeah, we totally, we're on the same page. Preacher TV show. We're on the same page. What do you think about uh, all the no wake stuff as far as surf boats in particular go, baby? I think surf boats are in a different category because they make a five foot wave that just goes forever. So even though you might not be breaking the law by getting too close to someone, you can really tear some stuff up. Yeah, that one depends a lot on the lake. Like our lake, it's so easy to go places where people's boats and docks aren't. So it's kind of crazy for anybody to be using a surf boat around our houses and stuff like that. Like that would be really rude. In some lakes, you know, you're gonna have a whole lot more houses everywhere. It might be hard to escape that kind of scene, but just try and go wherever you can where it's like least populated and at the times of day where there's the least amount of people out to be respectful with those boats. We have a surf boat. We love surfing, nothing against that, but there is a respectful way to do it and like a highly disrespectful and also dangerous way to do it, so. We're lucky we don't have docks out here in residential on this lake, so really we just slow down whenever a boat's coming. That way the boat doesn't hit our way, but man. You can tear stuff up with a surf boat, so just, you know, always be mindful, even if you are 150 feet from a person's dock where their boat's on it and you surf by it, it's going to tear some stuff up. Alright guys, we appreciate y'all checking us out, learning a little bit. Next video up, we got part three of this series, which is going to be about some of the top ways to troubleshoot when your boat just won't crank. That's the kind of video you're going to want to watch before you're in a situation where you wish that you watched it and hadn't. So we'll see you guys there. Bye. Happy boating.